Hello guys, we are back with another video. This is Finstock Bistock, we give you tips on any business you might consider starting. My name is Patrick. And my name is Emma and today we have a very interesting topic. We are still doing the serial, this series on the serial business. Yep. And we have been talking about how to start a serial business. We have also been talking about the tips you need to know when starting a serial business. And we have also talked about the fast moving serials. And today I want us to talk about the challenges faced by serial farmers in Kenya. So I hope you will learn a thing or two. So the first thing, the first challenge that is faced by the serial farmers in Kenya is climate change and unpredictable weather patterns. So when we want to talk about the unpredictable weather patterns in Kenya, right now actually we are facing a uh, lack of rain and it is really affecting farmers who, are, uh, who, are, who have majored in the cereal business. So you find that it is one of the challenges that is very common and predominant actually in, 20, in 2023, the yields of cereals have gone down. And this is because, uh, this is because of lack of rain. Yeah. yeah, and I think the lack of rain is something that the farmers cannot do anything about. Yeah. So I think that's why the farmers are going for other alternatives like getting another sources of maybe water, like getting their own boreholes yeah. and using the water for irrigation. Mm -hmm. So that is a very good idea to maybe think of getting another source that you can use the water yeah. to use it in your irrigation scheme. Yeah. So another challenge faced by Kenyans, uh, Kenyans who have decided to major in cereal farming is lack of financing and access to credit. So you find that most, most people when they, they want to continue or to advance their farming and they want uh, maybe to buy supplies like pesticides, they don't have this money. Yeah. And when, when they get the money, it, the, the return rate is of, has high interest. Yeah. So this becomes one of the challenges that they face. And you find that most people, they opt not to go to the far, to, to farming. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think they, they, they may have the interest of maybe buying those pesticides yeah. and you find that they are very expensive mm -hmm. and this way this is where the government should come in and support the small scale farmers to be able to acquire these pesticides because I think the economy of Kenya mostly depends on farming yeah, so farming. It's, it's a sector that should be supported. Yeah. Another, another challenge that is faced by the cereal uh, farmers in Kenya is pests and diseases and some of the pests and diseases are like armyworms and, uh, and uh, locusts mm -hmm. and birds yeah, yeah because but they like maize. So you find that this is, this has become one of the challenges that they are always complaining about. Yeah. And you, we had earlier talked that they lack financing. So yeah. even if someone wants to buy pesticides to eradicate this pest, yeah. they find a challenge. Yeah, a very big challenge. Mm -hmm. For example, the birds. But I think for for birds, you can try and use scarecrows. Yeah, to but try. sometimes you know it doesn't work. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't work. That's the least you can do, but it's better than doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, another challenge faced by cereal farmers in Kenya is limited access to market. So you find that someone has grown, maybe has produced maize in a large scale, mm -hmm. and th but the roads are really bad, and yeah. maybe th they don't have a, uh, a means of transport to take the, the maize to the market. So you find that this is one of the challenges that the farmers are facing because they want yes they have the they have they have the harvest, but they don't have a means to transport the harvest to the market. Yeah. And that, that's a very big challenge and we blame the government on that because mm -hmm. they, they should be building roads for mm -hmm. the farmers to, be, to get their products in the market. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, another challenge, the fifth challenge that the cereal farmers are, are facing in Kenya is land issues. So you find that these people, maybe especially these people in Moya, mm -hmm. they, if for, for you to do rice farming you really need large acres of land. Yeah. But you find that sometimes there, there, come, there comes up land issues and maybe you had, you had uh, cultivated rice and then a person comes and tells you, this is not, this is not your land. Yeah. Now you see like it's, it's, it's a process of going to, to report now mm -hmm. yeah. and you even don't have that money. Yeah, you still need money, you like still a need lot of money, money to yeah. be able to maybe get back your land. Mm -hmm. And this, it's about corruption. I yeah. think the corruption in farming sector in Kenya is very high. Mm -hmm. Because even, not, not even about the land, mm -hmm. even the those people who sell their products, mm -hmm. like I see farmers complain about maybe the farmers who farm coffee. Yeah. They take their coffee to the tea factories mm -hmm. and the people who are supposed to maybe connect them with the higher market, yeah. they take that money and give them some pennies, yeah. which is not worth it. So, yeah, so basically the, the, the cereal farmers in Kenya are facing a lot of challenge, including climate change, lack of access to credit, pest and diseases, limited access to to market, 
and then land issues. These are some of the challenges that we have had the cereal farmers in Kenya complaining about. And if you, if you are a cereal farmer or, you, or if you want to venture into the cereal business, these are some of the challenges that you may, find, you may face in the business. And I hope the, with time, the government will come and help the cereal farmers in Kenya yeah. because actually Kenya, we really, we really depend on the cereal business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that is it for today. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and hit on the notification button so that every time we upload a new video, you can be notified. If you have learned something or if you have gained something from the video, make sure to leave it in the comment section and we really, we will really appreciate it. Yeah. We also offer some courses here at Kiso University College that can help you in your agri business. So make sure you visit our website www.finstockuniversity.com or email us at info at finstockuniversity.com. You can also call us at 0703-313-722. So make sure you visit and learn a thing or two. Until next time. Goodbye.